hey guys so we'll be creating a my poll query so we won't be having any arguments that is because we'll get the user's id from our session and we'll return an array of polls so let's create our my poll query in our poll.resolver over here and before that in the last video the thing that i missed to add was um, the auth guard so we'll ask the add the auth guard as well so auth guard so why we are adding the auth guard is because um, the delete poll can only happen if the user is logged in so if the user is not logged in it will fail over here so now we'll say a query what it returns is an array of poll let's copy this card and let's create a function async my poll we get the user id from the get user id decorator so promise it's returning um, array of polls so array of poll now we'll say return this dot cold service seems like a typescript error let's restart my typescript server service dot uh, my poll so we'll pass in the user id now let's create the my poll service in our service file so we'll say async my poll user id is a string and it returns a promise of poll array and we'll say return await the start poll repo and we'll find with um, the user id we'll, so we'll say where user id now we'll get um, the poll and the poll option as well to we'll find Seems like I'm missing a bracket here. I guess that's the problem. Okay, I have not created a bracket here, so remove this. Okay, now it works. So let's restart our server. My server is already restarted. Let's remove this, refresh my playground. We'll create a query, my pool. So what my pool has is um, ID name user ID poll option and poll option has ID text quotes and poll ID so let's press the play button so we are getting our results so if you take a look in our database you can see multiple select statements so this is because of GraphQL so what is happening is on each poll uh, it's trying to select the poll option so it has a multiple select statements so to avoid this problem so what we can do is we can batch this up to a single statement so we can get all the IDs to get all the IDs wait for getting all the IDs batch it up to single statement and get our select or poll option so to doing that for doing that we'll create um, we'll use this um, library called data loaders so it's specially uh, built by Facebook for GraphQL so what this do does does is um, it'll it has batching so when I said batching what it means is it will wait for getting all the IDs then it will um, um, respond with our function that we have created and another thing is we need to take into consideration is we need to create a new data loader in every request so for doing that we'll create our data loader or we'll send our data loader function through context so let's do that let's create a new folder over here let's call the um, folder name loaders and the file name um, pool option loader.ts so we are specifically um, targeting on pool option so let's export this function export const pool option loader so what we'll do is we'll carry this 
playing with a new data loader so let's import data loader first we'll start as Oh, the thing that I missed was uh, installing data loader. So, yarn add data loader. Okay, so now data loader has been installed. So, what we'll do it takes a batch function that is keys. So, keys is an array of numbers for us because poll option is poll is an ID and poll option is also an ID of numbers except for user IDs. So this let's make this to async. We'll say okay. So okay, we need to return a promise avoid. Okay, now let's say um, we need to get the poll. So const poll is equal to you get the connection. Get connection. From poll, let's input that as well. So dot, um, we'll create a query builder, and we'll pass in the alias poll. And next, we'll get the um, left join select. So what we are selecting is the. See, let's say this is poll and this is poll option. So what we need is all the polls with also include the poll option. So left join and the inner. So left join select. So we'll say pull lot option. So we should say pull option, pull option. And the alias over here is pull option. And next we'll say um, where um, where pull dot id is in. So in. Um, the keys we'll pass in the keys so dot 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 keys and we'll say keys over here and in the end we need to get many so if we say get many we'll get all the polls so for returning the poll option so what we need to do is we'll be returning a poll option so we'll say return poll dot map We'll map. We'll be mapping poll that um, poll, and we'll be returning poll dot. Uh, I think we didn't really input this. It seems to be a problem here. Argument of type of poll is not assignment to type string. Okay, so this should be get. Should we get repository? Uh, should we get repository? I guess. Okay, so map is not working. Okay, did I forget to await? So we await this. Okay, I need to await over here as well. Okay, now everything works. I don't have to await over here. So that was TypeScript uh, trying to help us um, with the await thing. So now we'll send this into our context. So let's create. Um, Let's add in the types first. So types um, pool option loader. So it's a data loader, and it has um, number, and we are passing in pool option, and it's an array of pool options. So you get data loader from imports. Data loader from data loader. So in our context over here in app.modules we'll send in the 
data loader so we'll create the function over there so all option seems like um, Okay, full option loader is full option loader function. So you call this function here. So in on every request, this function gets called, and a new data loader instance gets created over here. So new data loader instance, and our poll gets fetched and returns it. So in what we'll do is in our poll resolver, we'll create a at resolve property. So resolve property. So our property is pull option and we'll say async so over here in the top we need to change this to you'll see we are returning a poll over here and below we'll say async we can say the property name so poll option get the root so root value is um, pull and the type is pool and we'll return um, we're also getting the um, pool loader from the context so context a context so we'll say return await context dot poll order dot load and we'll pass in the poll ID and that's it so see all the types is has no problems you will see over here we are returning an array of poll option Okay, now seems like every type issue has gone away so there's no problem now so let's restart our server now okay, let's go back in our playground um, we press play here we cannot read property ID of undefined so where is that coming from Okay, this should be not poll ID, it should be poll option. So we're getting the poll options. Let's go back and create our display over here. Okay, same error again. Okay, so. Take a look in our service user ID resolver. Okay, seems like um, the thing that we have imported over here is because of type GraphQL. So we need to change this to uh, root. We are importing it from um, Nest.js GraphQL. Sweet our server. Let's go back, press play button again text here this some kind of error I've made in the poll option so I've added extra dots here it should be three dots so we start a server again Display. now here we go we are getting all the results now if you take a look in our database call see just um, two select statements so before that if you take if you go back let's go back to poll service I mean poll resolver let's um, comment this out save over here take a look um, how the select statement was happening play and you can see uh, multiple select statements so we take a look how many milliseconds we are shaving off 
Let's take a look in our network tab over here. Uh, let's restart our server again. And now if you press play, you can see, you can notice over here. So this is just GraphQL getting fetched all the time. So when I click play, you can notice somewhere around 100 milliseconds. So now you can see 151 milliseconds it took for fetching from the database. Let's stop this, um, uncomment this over here. Save it. Um, let's import all this first. Import. You need to import this from Nestjs GraphQL. Import all option. Save it. Restart a server. So before it was 151 milliseconds. Now let's press play. Now let's wait for it. Okay, it works. Yes. Now it is 100. So if you go try to fetch it again and goes back to 19 milliseconds keep fetching it is somewhere around in 30s and 40s so it took 151 milliseconds now it takes somewhere around 100 milliseconds initially it might come back to 75 depends on how long how big the query is so the, these were many times I have clicked the play button now so now you can see only two select statements has happened maximum. So that is it guys for adding data loaders to our MyPoll query. So thank you guys for watching.